what God has for us is to look at things beyond the things that I see. Come beyond. So, there are other things that I will have to say because of time. What makes us fail when we have a chapel like this? When, when God wants us to use us? When we know we sometimes feel this is a child, but when you come to the child, it is we who are the child. The individuals. We need to act as the body of Christ. Which says the body is one. But it has so many different parts. parts. They function differently. When my head is give me a headache and I want to go and see the doctor. Will I leave the head in the house? Or I leave the, my body in the house? When I go and see the doctor, he asks me, what's your problem? Who tells the doctor it's my headache? The head? The mouth. The mouth, isn't it? And the feet go through there. Hmm? When we are given a tablet by a doctor to take, the how does the tablet get into your body? The does the heart issues? Does the mouth issues? Does the tongue issues? They work together. Can you tell the head, because you are sick, you remain here, the hand and the leg is going to blame for you the tablet. No. So I'm saying this is going to be a place for all of us to move together. Hallelujah. Let the leg, the right leg, do its function, the left leg. The right hand, the left hand. The right ear, the left ear. When I was reading about John, he was seeing shown the vision of heaven. And then he went there, the window opened. He saw the 24 elders surrounding him. They said, Then he saw the four heads of people. One, the second one, I think that one was a human being. Then he, what surprised John was that their heads were full of ice. Which means, those beings, they don't have to turn the way I'm turning to see who is behind me. Because they have eyes around. That's the Bible says. My friends, Jesus is here. I can feel his presence. I can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. I was praying, God, give me the message. I'm not prepared. He told me, I'm not prepared. I said, those are God's people. I'm going the way you want and let me say whatever you want me to say. So today you are come here. You are going to write a covenant for your children, for the next four generations. A generation merely is about 70 years. So if you make the covenant correct today, if you make the covenant correct today, you now have 280 years that your family is going to enjoy. My friends, don't miss this chance. Amen. Hallelujah. So we bless first generation, second generation, third generation. If we can merely put at around 70 years as a generation. No, but today, anyone who is here, you are making a covenant just like you made it. You are making a covenant that's going to stay in your family for 280 years. Amen. 70 times 4. Glory to God. So those are coming from Kiricho, coming from Nakura. If you can utilize this space, that's what I'm giving you some space to start thinking what you want to do so that you can please God. So that when God looks at you, even if you have come from Mombasa or Kiricho or elsewhere or your college, God will be looking at you and say, yes, I will protect you, I will lead you when you wear the valleys and the hills. Wherever you go, I will be with you and protect. And I see the dread in that head, in the Numbers chapter 6. And that, that God will give you protection. When you, God blesses you, the first thing He does is protect you. The second thing God does when He blesses you, He makes sure you don't lack. So He will always provide, He will always sponsor you. And the third thing, 